Hello all, in this guide I'll be showing you how to unlock three pets, Oculi, Orbi, and Asmodee, all in the same run. Now unlocking content and across the obelisk takes a lot of time. Usually you can only unlock one or maybe two characters or pets in a single run, and each run can take four or more hours to complete, so that's a lot of time to collect all 12 heroes and 15 pets, so knocking out three at once is no joke at saving you time. So here's how to do it. There's only two things you're going to need to know going in. First, this will require multiple random events to spawn on the same file, so to make sure that you can do it, you're going to need to start your game with a seed that has all the events. The seed I used is Pokemon. This seed might stop working eventually if a patch breaks it, so I'll try to update the description of this video if the seed changes at all. Second, one of the events in this run is going to require a group draw event where you need to score 4 or below, so low energy cards are going to be key. Take heroes with you that you know you can perform well with with low energy cards. The event in question is right outside of the town in the red zone in Act 3, so you'll be able to dump some high energy cards there and replace them at that town, but you'll also need to make it through pretty much the whole game this run, so you can't gimp yourself too hard. Also for this reason, you should probably play on a low madness with extra gold and shards available if possible. Okay, and with that, let's see the run. To start off, do whatever it is that you're going to need to do in town to build up your decks, and then head over to the shop to pick up at least one pet for any hero. Head out of town and take the north path all the way up towards the waterfall. There's a note here called Riverbank with the blue event, a fun game. Go here and choose the play option. This will take you to another blue event called Behind the Waterfall. Select either combat or threaten to start a combat, and after the battle, you'll be given a ruined book. Now complete Act 1 however you wish from here, and then take the green portal for Act 2. You're going to head towards the aqueduct node in the middle of the map with the green event, the Monster Trainer. There's a boat south of town that you can take there for 800 gold. If you're poor or if you want to save some money, you can always get the boat for free if you first visit the Crocolisk village and choose the option to look around without stealing anything. From here, visit the battlefield and side with the Crocomen. After the battle, ask about the note and you'll be able to use the boat for free. However you do it, once you cross the water and get to the node, choose any of the Train My Pet options here to snag your first pet, Oculi. You don't have to equip the pet if you don't want it, it unlocks either way. Now from here, complete Act 2 however you want, and then take the red portal for Act 3. The town in Act 3 is where you're going to need to prepare as best you can for the group draw event. Again, you're going to need to get a 4 or lower, so think about dropping any high energy cards that you can spare. When you're ready, head out of town using the bottommost eastern path towards the crane node with the blue event, the Obsidian Shipment. Choose the Ambush option here to complete the group event roll. Hopefully you succeeded, and after the combat you'll be granted the Obsidian Ingots item as a reward. If you failed, I am very sorry. You won't be able to unlock Orby this run, but you can still get Asmodee if you complete the run. The very next node after the crane node is the Empty Camp event. Travel to this node and then select the option to explore to again receive a copy of a book. Now once again, you can finish this act however you please. Once you make it to Act 4, take the topmost path towards the Sacred Forge event node, which has the ingot icon next to it. Once you're there, choose to give your obsidian ingots to the smith and you'll unlock your second pet, Orby. Continue along this topmost path to the library node that's in the northeast corner. Once again, choose the option to explore and receive yet another book. A side note here for any achievement hunters, there's actually an achievement for selecting the read option at this node. You can snag it in this run as well if you want, if you select the read option. The achievement will pop immediately, and then before you select anything else to leave the node, press Alt F4 to close your game. Now load back into your save file and you should be able to reselect the explore option to grab your book and still have the achievement unlocked. After the library, head down to defeat the boss and enter the final act. Take the southernmost route towards the Colored Ruins event at the Magic Circle node. It's time to cash in on all those books you've been collecting all run. Select the last use option and press the black, orange, and red runes and you'll unlock the third and final pet, Asmodee. And that's it, that's three pets unlocked in a single run. Whether you finish this run or not, those pets will be unlocked on your account permanently. Hopefully this guide saved you some time on your journey to unlocking all the game content, which can be arduous. If you liked this guide, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel for more gaming tips. And until next time, happy gaming.